West Houston Street, Lower East Side. What do you say we go for a stroll, folks? Neon sign capital, New York City. Let's go for a stroll. All right, guys. We're on West Houston Street. That's right. Now, I want to mention something about the street, the name of the street. Okay. I'm going to show you the street sign. Some of which may be more, or do not want to. Where the hell are the street signs? I don't see any. <laughs> Where are the street signs? I want to show you the name of the of this, of this street. It's a pretty busy road here in, in uh, the Lower East Side of Manhattan. Where are the street signs? Ooh, look at these gyro spits. Oh, baby. We got a Turkish restaurant here, guys. Mm -mm -mm. A little bit of chicken, a little bit of lamb. And something else. Uh, what's the name of this joint? Yeah, it is Turkish. Let's step back and get a look at the storefront. Ankara. Turkish restaurant. Okay, guys, here we have an institution called Russian Daughters. One of the first restaurants in the United States to be owned by women. Russian Daughters. Institution. You come to New York City, you come here. Best bagels and lox. Salmon lox. Smoked salmon. It's an appetizer store, which means it's uh, the Jewish uh, deli and... Uh, there's no dairy offered here, no beef. It's just seafood based. And it's one of the best, guys. Look at that beautiful neon sign. Old building. It's been here since... It's been here 110 years. Now, one of the icons, one of the uh, iconic restaurants in New York City are the dollar sliced pizzas. And here we have one. Now, a lot of these dollar joints, these dollar pizza joints, a lot of these dollar pizza joints are raising their prices. They're now 150. I don't eat dollar pizza, but if you're on a budget, if you're on a budget. That ain't too bad looking, let me tell you. Dollar fifty. Dollar fifty, baby. It's not a dollar no more. We're over here at it just says pizza. I don't know. I don't know the name of this place. <laughs> it just says pizza. And they raise their prices. But you know what? For a dollar fifty, this thing looks fire. Yo, can I get can I get a pick of this pie right here? What does this go for, the margarita? Margarita. How much? Three dollars. Oh, okay, so they yeah, that's worth it. That's worth it. It looks quality, you know? Sauce looks good, nice and bright. I think the only thing the only thing that's a dollar fifty is the plane, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Nice, nice, nice. <clears throat> the, the regular one, right? Yeah. Yeah, I hear you, bro. That, that shit looks fire, though, bro. Thanks, please. I don't even know the name of this place. No idea. <laughs> It's just says pizza on the sign. Let's get going. 
We're going up Houston Street. I'm still looking for the damn street sign so I could show you guys. Okay, here it is. Look at all the bikers. Everybody's on a bike. All right, guys, here we have it. East Houston Street. That's right, Houston. Not Houston, Houston. That's how we pronounce it here in New York. If you say Houston, people are, are going to think you're a tourist. And you'll probably get robbed. <laughs> Pretty lively. It's uh, what? What is it? 9:30 p.m. Maybe 10 o'clock. <laughs> Lot going on. Oh, check out this joint. Me salsa kitchen. Oh wow! Small little place. Very intimate. Cute. Cute little place. Nice Porsche. <laughs> Guys, look how small this grocery store is. Need a little bit of groceries in the middle of the night, 24 hour joint. Want a Snickers bar, a bottle of water, a little bit of uh, Bacardi, whatever it is. Beautiful night, by the way, guys. About 68 degrees. No wind. Here's some beautiful Lower East Side street art dedicated to some, some folks, it seems. Not sure who these people are, never heard of them. Nice art nonetheless. A lot of street art. Oh, I know who that is. That's LL Cool J right there. That's LL Cool J right there, and who's that? Let's see, let's look at this artwork, guys. I love street art. Very pretty. I'm not sure who this is. Uh, I don't see any, uh, I don't know. And that looks like an ice cream cone right there with an eyeball on top. That's pretty. Nice old building. LL, look at LL on the on the on Houston Street, man. All right, let's get moving. LL on Houston. Lots of graffiti on in the in the Lower East Side. Not just graffiti, but a lot of street art. Uh, lots of street art. A lot of stickers on the poles, things like that. And guys, very typical of New York, a pizzeria on every street, pretty much. Let's go take a look.
Hey, what's up, man? Looks good. Sauce looks great. How much for a slice? Not bad. All right, I'll be back. Yep. Looks good. That looks pretty good. Three fifty a slice. Not bad. Guys, here we have an institution. I wanted to showcase this place since 1910. Yona Schimmel. A Kanish bakery. This is where the Kanish was invented, folks. Too bad they're not open. Um, I'll be back one day and showcase the food here. Uh, here you have the sign. Look at that. 1910, folks. The original. This is the original spot. I've, I've eaten here a million times. Uh, inside, it's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. They ship on Gold Belly. And uh, the, the, the countertop is all original. The knishes are okay. Uh, they're baked and not fried, which I like. It can be a little dry sometimes, but they're, they're very good. With mustard, they're very good. And they offer all different types of conditions, not just potato. You can get savory, you can get sweet desserts. Uh, Canisius stuffed with uh, all sorts of fruits and things like that. Uh, it's a place worth visiting just for the history in itself. Uh, and the conditions are pretty damn good. People are still playing basketball. It's about 10 o'clock at night. Grub, Grubhub driver here taking a break. DoorDash. Uh, who knows? Instacart. Okay, we're going to cross the street. If anybody uh, likes to smoke uh, the wacky tobacco. There's a phone number. <laughs> the wacky tobacco. East Houston. It's a pretty busy street. It's a pretty busy street. Okay, when I head back, I want to go on the other side of, of, of the road because uh, there's a lot of different restaurants out there that I wanted to uh, highlight. A lot of bikers, a lot of delivery guys. Wow, the weather is just beautiful. Now, if you happen to be on the, on the uh, Lower East Side, guys, I wanted to uh, introduce you to a very delicious fried chicken restaurant right there across the street, the Blue Ribbon Fried Chicken uh, Restaurant. It's phenomenal. It's not your typical Popeyes. They use good oil. And uh, I've eaten there about, I think twice. Uh, it's good. It's good. Pretty damn good. Again, folks, lots of graffiti on in the Lower East Side. You can go one neighborhood up and you'll see no graffiti at all. Uh, but here in the Lower East Side, the neighborhood is known to draw graffiti artists. 
as well as street artists. It's not just graffiti. As you can see there across the street, nice artwork. A lot of store owners welcome it and hire artists to paint on their um, storefronts. I tell you, the bikers out here, man, they're worse than the cabs. They don't follow the rules. They just, they blow red lights. They, they drive all over the place. On the opposite side of the road. <laughs> 10 o'clock at night, something like that. Maybe a quarter to 10. A lot of traffic. Oh, it's a gorgeous night. The past few days been so And there's an example of some more street art. This looks like a park. Uh, they, closed, they closed them off at night. All right, what do you say we fast forward a little bit, guys? Man, I never thought it was possible to do 25 miles an hour on a skateboard. Holy cow, that guy was flying. Here we have some handball courts. I played a lot of handball as a kid. I played a lot of handball. Was I good at it? Eh. Maybe not. <laughs> but I, I was good at football. That was my sport. I had good hands and I was good at baseball. I, I threw dots. Sixty-two degrees. Wow, I, I thought it was warmer. Oh, it's only nine eighteen. I thought it was a quarter to ten. I couldn't tell. I'm using my phone to uh, to film, so I don't know what time it is. <clears throat> oh, we got a train station here. Uh, a subway uh, station. I don't take the subway, guys. I. I I can't remember the last time I did. New York City subway. Three degrees, it feels so much warmer when you're in Manhattan. It depends where. If you're by the water, yeah, 63 will feel like 63 degrees. But like if you're in Times Square and it's 63 degrees out, it's gonna feel like 83 because of all the electricity, all the lights. So it, it's just, it, it, it feels like it's like 77 right now. Maybe I'm overdressed. <laughs> I got my sweater on. Guys, lively night. The bars are still full, 9.30. The bars are still full. Nice, nice, nice. Nice sports bar right here. Once again, folks, we're at the 
Lower East Side, Manhattan, New York City. We're gonna stop by Little Geo's Pizza, and then we're we're going to. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys a classic appliance store, as well as a, an epic neon sign. More pizza. Pizza, pizza, pizza. I wonder what she would think. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Want a shot of the pizza? Ooh, man, that looks good. That looks phenomenal. Wow, very surprised. Oh, yeah. I like the crust. It looks nice and well done. Very nice. Okay, here's the appliance store I was talking about. Gringer. You know, they sell washing machines, refrigerators, and they've been around for a long time. Look how beautiful that neon sign is, guys. I'm a sucker for neon signs. New York City is the capital of neon signs. They're everywhere. Air conditioners. I don't know exactly how old this place is, but... It's been here a while, and they're pretty popular. All right, let's move on up. Italian restaurant. Okay, let's move on up. There's an example of some steam coming off the manholes. New York City's infrastructure is kind of, you know, it's pretty old and there's a lot of pipes on the ground. And so if it rains, whenever it rains a lot, the steam will come up from the, uh, from on the ground. Here's another example of all the graffiti here in the Lower East Side. And uh, this neighborhood is kind of like the Mecca for graffiti artists. And not just here, but uh, Places like Bushwick, Brooklyn, places like that. And not just graffiti artists, but street artists. You see a lot of nice street artists, not just graffiti, but. Anyway, uh, one last stop before I end this thing. I wanna show you guys a classic Indian restaurant. Just up the street there, across the street from Katz's Deli, where I started this thing. There it is, Katz's. See it? Talk about neon signs. Guys, that's one of the best. It's beautiful. Katz's Deli. Guys, check out my video if you haven't already. I uh, highlighted the place. I uh, visited uh, just a few hours ago with my parents. But uh, the video to my Katz's Deli spread is going to be separate. It will be a separate video. So check it out on the tube. Right across from Katz's Deli, guys. If you don't know Katz's Deli, just Google it. YouTube it. <laughs> You'll see three million videos on it. Everybody and their mother has been there. United States presidents. Here's an example of more graffiti on a tenement building. 
Fire escapes, very iconic. Associated with uh, New York City. All right, guys, uh, I think I'm gonna end this soon. Uh, before I do, I wanna show you one of my favorite places. I was a vegetarian for 15 years. Punjabi, little hole in the wall. Cash only, but very affordable. They got an ATM machine outside, graffiti all over the place. Punjabi. Just a symbol, so. All vegetarian. All vegetarian, right? Nice. I used to come here all the time. Punjabi, everybody. Great place. Great place. Well, guys. I think that sums it up. I'm going to end it where I started it. Here on East Houston Street. That's right, Houston. Remember, guys, it's Houston, not Houston. The streets here are pretty wide, so, you know, you got to be careful. Look both ways at all times. I know my city very well. So, yeah, I guess I'll end it here where I started it. 9.30 at night, Katz's is still booming. Look at that. Love those new city bikes. Guys, check it out. My Katz's Deli video, uh, separate video. I showed every bit of the food we ordered, man. The sandwiches, everything. Some matzo ball soup, some pickles. That concludes it, guys. I'm out. Parents are waiting for me. I'm out of here. Be well. Hit the like if you can. Hit the sub. And until next time. This is Antonio. Signing off.